Okay, um, welcome to your tutorial, and let me just explain what happened in case you don't understand. Draw um, our main method, our active, blah blah blah, draw handle, right here, draw handler, Draws our, uh, handles our drawing method, it's going to draw everything, in fact that's, draws everything, it's God, it draws everything. Okay, and then draw all, it's going to draw the triangle. And I draw a triangle, it's literally going to draw a triangle. Now everything is proportional, and I would I don't know how to explain this really. Um, like if, let's say that this uh, code block was your whole window, your whole computer screen. Up here, or let's just say in the middle, that'd be zero zero. This would be one one. This would be negative one one. This would be or no, this would be negative one one. This would be negative one x positive one y and this would be um positive x one negative one y okay so it's all proportional it allows full screen to be made much easier so we have that right and if you want we can do things like change place of the y or x so on the top part of the vertice it'll make a more slanted triangle you know things like that it's just experimenting um, guys tell me if these tutorials don't make any sense because then I can you know re-explain things and things like that okay enough with the tangent let me explain what happens when you draw the triangle we specify what type of color we want when we um, vertex 2 4 we um, specify that we want the coordinate about right here ish negative 0 negative yeah, negative 0.75, so negative three fourths of the frame, zero y, and then you want vertice over here on the other side, and then you want vertice on zero x, three quarters of the way up y, right? If you try doing something like 2.0 or anything above one, watch what happens. It doesn't, or it goes all the way up there. It goes off screen. I actually had no idea it did that. I thought I would just want to draw it. Oh, actually, I guess that would make sense. I'm going to teach you about 3D now. And there's the only way I can teach you about 3D is um, there's going to be another coordinate called the Z coordinate. And what the Z coordinate is, it's like how close it is to you. How, um, you know, how's the um, triangle drawn, you know? How how is it? How close is it to you, basically? Z Y. So how close are you looking at it? This um, what we have to do is all we have to do is add a three, right? And we have to add another three, and we add another three. And what it does is instead of having two parameters, let me guess, it has three, all of which are floating point numbers, which I never came to explain. So we're going to just for now have our Z corners as zero, zero. It's about mm, kind of the same thing at 1, it's right in front of you. At negative 1, it's as far as it will draw it. If you try to do anything above negative 1 or above 1, it won't draw. That's the z-coordinate for sure. Okay. When you draw it, you'll notice that nothing happens. Uh, in fact, actually, the reason is because we have to be special. I don't know how that came to be. Put that back to a seven five. See, and then we'll redraw. Anyways, you see that nothing really happened. If you were to make this one, and if you were to make this um, five or something, it's still the exact same. And the reason for that is because we have to actually handle the perspective ourselves. OpenGL won't handle the perspective for you, or it will, but it's just not that great however there is something called z buffer testing which i'll be explaining in the next tutorial until now just realize that the z coordinate is how close or far it is now let's create a new uh, method called void draw square okay and we're going to make a new file and i lucky guess we're going to name it draw square square like that save finish um 
we can get rid of draw triangle yes draw um, so we have our draw square method I'm going to do um, include uh, gl slash gl dot h as always and we're going to do void draw square and it doesn't come up again doesn't matter so um okay um uh, for this we're going to do our color method again and this time we're probably going to do um how about a red square i like red and boom boom so we'll do a red square and then at the end we'll return the color back to white or i mean black just so that um you know just so that uh, we don't make any mistakes later kind of I don't know if that made any sense I don't know why I said that so um again we're going to have to be begin this time instead of GL triangles it's GL quad quads and colon GL end and something that people do in open GL is they have brackets just so that you make sure another tactic you can use is you can do this which you already seen me do and um, let's have a 3d we're going to go 3d although it's not even going to be 3d yet because you have to do more stuff you have to add the things by yourself so vx34 3f sorry and we're going to have to have four vertices three F okay so like that and like that so what we can do is like that in fact actually what I probably should have done I should have just done that in fact actually I still messed up we're going to have everything on the um, based on the quarters but you'll see how we're going to do this. So we have all that. So this first corner is going to be drawn three fourths, three fourths about here. This corner we're going to make negative. So it's going to be right there and it's going to come down to here. And then this one's going to be completely negative. So we're going to come out right here. And then over here and it's going to come back up there and then run it. And it'll say GL and that comma should be over there. And you do that. Oh, okay, you know, there we go. And then you'll see, oh, no try, uh, no square yet. Gotta draw that first. Draw square. Boom, done. We're drawing a square. Look at that. It looks more like a rectangle, but it's considered a square because if you actually were to in the code it says it's all even and that's just how OpenGL works it's all proportional okay next we'll be learning about Z buffering and I'll explain to you why that's important till then see you later